Hi, everybody. My name is Noelle Ebert, and I'm your librarian here at Southwestern. Today, we're going to talk about how to access our EBSCO ebook databases. So I'm just going to share my screen with you, and we're going to take a look at the Southwestern homepage. If you're looking for the library website, you can choose resources and click library. So it just takes a few seconds for the images to load on our page, but we're going to look for the where to research database page. There we go. Just click this button here. Now this is our site with all of the databases we have access to. They're organized in alphabetical order and you can use this menu to skip down to the ones you're looking for. We're looking at ebook databases today and you can find a lot of them conveniently under E. Why don't we get in with the academic collection? This is one of the bigger ebook databases we have access to. Here we go. Now I'm on campus right now, so it let me in right away with no login required. But I could also log in from off campus 24 seven to get access to this database. You just have to enter your seven digit ID number. Now, if your ID number is shorter than seven digits, just add zeros to the front until it's long enough. I'm going to share a different screen. And this is what it will look like if you are trying to log in from off campus. So just enter that ID number here and click sign in. All right, we're gonna go back to the page we were looking at. And here you can browse new items added to the database or you could browse by category. Also, you can just dive right in and type out a word or phrase of something you're interested in finding. Let's look at climate change. So we have a nice pool of results here, about 2,500 items. Now, if we wanted to add more results to this pool, we could check other ebook databases and add them into the search. We do that by clicking the Choose Database link up here. Now, this is the biggest ebook package we have, but these two, the ebook collection and community college collection, are right up there with them. We also have a few smaller collections, for instance, here. A good way to find all of the ebook databases is to use the keyboard command Control F. That will bring up a keyword search box. If you type in ebook, it's going to highlight all of the different ebook databases, and you could click to include those here in your search if we wanted. Why don't we keep it at the big three for now? Great, that almost tripled our results by adding in those other databases. So keep that in mind if you're ever having trouble or not getting a lot of answer of results that you're looking for. If you wanna learn more about your limiting options, check out my other video, Academic Search Complete and EBSCO databases, and we go into details about that a little bit further. For now, why don't we take a look at one of these ebooks? So, this will take us to the abstract page, and we can find out a little bit about the book. We can find out who the author was, where it was published, and most importantly, on this page, we take a look at the publisher permissions. It looks like this particular title will let us print, email, or save 100 pages a, at a time in this book. If you ever needed, say, 150 pages from this particular book, log out of your search session and log in and start a new one. 
that is A-OK -okay and should help uh, bridge that gap. So if we needed to download anything, just keep that part in mind. Let's take a closer look at the full book. And from this window, you would actually be able to read it right away if you want with some of these navigation buttons. Yeah, you can also shrink it down, blow it up, or choose different or choose different formats to read it by. Over here on the left, you can comb through the table of contents. It looks like this book is divided up into a series of essays. I'm gonna flip this little arrow down and you can see all of the different portions in this, in this chapter. You can also download individual sections if maybe this was the only part you were very interested in. One of my favorite ways to look inside an ebook is going to this search within sub tab. Here, I'm going to type in maybe some more particular subjects that I'm interested in, perhaps rising sea levels in this book. Type in sea levels, and it is going to keyword search the entire book, and it is going to tell me where and how often these particular phrases are showing up. This will help you hone in on maybe the exact chapter or area where you might have most interest instead of having to read the entire book. Now, right now, it sorts it by relevancy. So page 285 has the most times we see this phrase pop up. But my favorite way is to actually sort it by chapter and page. When we do that, these little numbers in parentheses are actually the times that this word or phrase is showing up. So if we go down with these arrows, wow, I'm seeing this one has 124 different results. If I only wanted to focus on one part of this book, I think this might be the place I should put my time and energy. So this is just another way that you can explore an ebook without actually having to read the whole thing. Great. Well, that pretty much is all there is to it when you're searching through the ebook databases. If you have further questions, don't hesitate to ask. Come by and see us at the library in Tioga 2. If you're a distance user, please, you can always call or email or let me know when we can schedule a Zoom appointment. Happy to meet you wherever you are. Great. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Bye.